Hello and welcome to the Sydney Olympic Park. We are here at the Athletic Centre and the United Indian Association is putting on a fantastic fair. It's called the India-Australia Friendship Fair, which is an annual event to celebrate the Indian Independence Day. And uh, I am uh, here with uh, Gurinder Sandhu, the first uh, male cricketer of Indian background to play for Australia in the international scene. Gurinder, welcome to Aussie Indian. Thank you very much. We are obviously very proud of uh, what you have achieved as a community to, because today is a community event. And uh, do you think that uh, the, you will see more of these uh, ethnic stars like you coming into the Australian scene in future? Um, I think so. Personally, I think so because um, when I used to play the junior level stuff, I think there's only one or two sort of Australian white pe people in my team. So I think, <laughs> yeah, I think as we get older, as more more generations turning into sort of the 15, 16, 17 year old age group, and I think if they, you know, if their parents are, some parents don't let them play sport too much, but if they let them, they can come become as good as me. Well, uh, is it overwhelming for you uh, as uh, the first uh, male cricketer of Indian background? I know Lisa Stalekar played for. Uh, uh, the women's team, she is also from the Indian background. Is it uh, ha putting a bit of a pressure on you while you perform on the field? Um, no, not really. You know, I'm just like all the other people in my, my team that play, but just happens to be my parents were born in India. So, yeah, I, I just get out on the field and do what the other guys are doing, you know. Bowl back, try and get some wickets, help the team win. And, yeah, it's just a bit of extra that comes, with, comes along. <laughs> Uh, do you still keep those emotional links with India? Do you go back to India to where your parents were born and so on and so forth? Yeah, we used to go back every sort of three three to four years. But um, cricket's taking over a bit now, so I haven't been in a while. But um, yeah, we always try and go back for a few cousins' weddings and whatnot. We go back to Punjab and celebrate a bit. Which uh, place in Punjab, actually? I think near... It's uh, a good question. Um, Chandigarh? Yeah, near Faridkot, I think. Oh, yeah. Faridkot, yes. yeah. Um, of course, uh, Australia A team, which you represent now, is one of uh, the uh, stepping stones for cricketers to play for, obviously, uh, ultimately wear the baggy green. Is that what you're uh, dreaming about? Of course, you know, <laughs> one day if that comes true, you know, it'll be a dream come true. So, yeah, I've just got to do what I, what I do for New South Wales first, get some wickets and hopefully we can go on into some finals and play some good games and then from there you never know what can happen. Selectors always watching your game, so who knows? Well, your uh, first game, Sheffield Shield, was an absolute cracker, and you were uh, the man of the match. Uh, that, that should put you in good state for going one step higher, I would imagine. Yeah, funny game. A few wickets there, <laughs> bowled some bad balls, but um, that's okay. We take it how it comes. And yeah, hopefully, I start in the New South Wales teams at the start of the year and then keep my position throughout the year, and hopefully, bigger and better things to come. Whenever we see the Australian team, we see majority of the cricketers coming from New South Wales and uh, New South Wales is seen as the powerhouse of Australian cricket. What's your opinion? I'm not too sure to be honest. I haven't been involved in the state stuff for too long now. Any few games, maybe last year I was involved. But I think that's, yeah, most people do say that. But I think there's a lot of people in the Sydney sort of, especially in the Sydney city. And then most of our players also come from the country as well. So I think, yeah, just all together, there's a lot of numbers New South Wales all together, so I think that's why it creates more cricketers and more better cricketers. Well, uh, I was uh, watching uh, the game against India. India, of course, has uh, got a pretty good uh, under-19 team. What do you make out of them and compared to Australia? Um, I think the teams were pretty even, to be honest. Yeah, on the day, I think they just played better. We didn't drop a few catches and whatnot, so that a bit of luck went their way and they got us on that day, but we, we beat them the two games before that, so... Yeah, I think we were evenly matched, but just on that day they got the better of us. Well, Australian team, if you look at uh, the current Ashes series, in fact, the bowlers did very well, especially the pace bowlers. So, uh, what, do you, what do you think is the stock of Australian pace attack uh, when you play for grade as well as state? What do you make out of that Australian uh, pace attack? It's unbelievable, the pace attack, you know, the stock is awesome, there's probably five people that four or five that play in a test match and then there's also another 10 waiting outside to, to play the next test match so I think yeah it'd be very tough for someone like myself to get in there but hopefully one day you know I can get in in the team and do well for the country. Well the only time when I held the mic like this uh, was when I was uh, interviewing Glenn McGrath and uh, <laughs> uh, with that height is there a added advantage when you uh, bowl pace at that pace 130 to 140 
at your height. Do you think that that gives you that bit of a, an extra zip on that? I think so, especially for my type of bowling, you know, trying to hit the seam. So I think sometimes on a, on a different pitch you can get an extra bounce and sometimes also get a bit of low bounce. I'm not sure what the reason is behind that, but um, yeah, sometimes on a funny wicket, being a bit taller it helps a lot and the ball does funny things. And uh, what's uh, your future plan? How do you think you can graduate from here to wear that baggy, baggy green? All starts tomorrow actually, training with New South Wales. So I've heard the coach is going to push me pretty hard because I've had a week off, so that'll be fun. But um, yeah, just got to play from New South Wales, get my wickets. Hopefully the team does well and, and then slowly the selectors have a look and maybe pick me for a game or something. And if there is one message you want to send out to some of the young cricketers uh, who want to emulate your feet, what would that be good in there? I think uh, when you train, you train at 100%. So when you get into the game, it doesn't feel too different. So it just feels like, oh, I'm not training again, sort of thing. So um, yeah, just train as hard as you can, play as hard as you can, and the results should come. Gurinder, welcome to India Australia Friendship Fair, and thanks for talking to Thank us. Thank you very much. Anytime.